wintertime bowwood harvest. We're cutting maple, hickory, elm, buckthorn, even a hornbeam. I wanted a good oak tree, but I didn't find any. We'll get the oak next time. First one of the bunch, here's the elm. Very nice elm tree, might be the nicest I've ever cut. I got three entire log sections out of this one in about 10 or 12 good staves. The logs were a little bit hard to split because elm has some very interlocking fibers, and this was an extreme case, but I don't mind because that can be a sign of good bow wood. Very nice find. Next up, here's the maple. Sugar maple, I think. I got four clean staves out of this one, split really well. I'll show you the splitting later. Up next is the buckthorn. Very orange wood, very flexible. It's invasive, so I don't mind cutting it at all. Next, good old hickory, my go-to bow wood. Got four good staves out of this one. Here's the hornbeam. This is American hornbeam, AKA blue beech or muscle wood. You can see the log has this very distinctive muscular looking appearance. Great log, you don't see big ones like this too often. And finally, here's the elm once again. Got caught up in the tree, so it was a little bit of a pain to bring down. That was the elm. Good wood fights you back like that sometimes. They say that's how a lot of old time bowyers lost their front teeth. That's why you shouldn't keep your face above the wedges or stick your fingers in the crack. This is the maple log, by the way. It's split in half really well, so let's quarter it up. Here's our day's work. From left to right, we've got elm, maple, hickory, hornbeam, and then the buckthorn. Not a bad day's haul. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled with all the staves I got, and the bows I'll be able to make out of them in the future. Here's a hickory bow I made from my last major bowwood haul. This one draws 45 pounds at 28 inches. It's a 72 inch long bow, so there's plenty of length for target shooting and plenty of power for hunting. This might be my favorite bow. Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching and supporting the craft. I'll see you next time.